In 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14, the Bible says, Be you not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship at righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion at light with darkness. Shout this prayer point loud and clear. Spirit spouse, leave my life alone in the name of Jesus. Spirit spouse, leave my life alone in the name of Jesus. Spirit spouse, leave my life alone. Leave my life alone. Leave my life alone. You spirit spouse, you spirit husband, you spirit wife, I command you, leave my life alone in Jesus' name. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV. We are looking on a very important topic. Do this and the spirit spouse will leave you. Do this and the spirit spouse will leave you. The spirit spouse has the mission to attack marriages, to delay marriages, to pollute, to defy, and to scatter marriage. The spirit spouse has the mission or the purposes to carry out in every man or woman's life. If you know that you have spirit spouse, the spirit spouse will terminate your earthly relationship. The spirit husband or the spirit wife will make sure that your relationship did not lead to marriage or your marriage is not fruitful. The spirit spouse, the spirit wife or spirit husband will make sure that your wife or your husband divorce you. It will make sure that your husband hates you for no reason. It will cause all kinds of envy, unhealthy competition between man and woman. When there's a spirit spouse in place in your life, you cannot move forward. When there's a spirit spouse in place in your life, you cannot achieve your destiny in that marriage. You as a minister of God, if you know that you have spirit spouse or the spirit of loss, you cannot fulfill your ministerial vision or calling. It is certain that prayer and deliverance can destroy or chase away the spirit spouse from our life. It is certain that deliverance can break every entanglement between us and the spirit of darkness. The Bible says, For what righteousness got with unrighteousness? For what light with darkness? You are a child of light, so you don't have any affiliation with darkness. If you discovered that you are having entanglement, you are having a relationship or covenant with spirit spouse, spirit wife or spirit husband, what do you do? You break it. Because if you do not break that covenant you are having with the spirit spouse in the dream, it will affect you. As a man, it will affect your finances, it will affect the scope of your vision, your progress, and every good thing that concerns you. And you as a woman, if you are having that spirit husband in you, the husband will not like you. They will be, you will be having this domineering, domineering spirit. This anger will set in. So what do you do? You find ways to break it. You find ways to break it. Accept prayers and deliverance. So there are some steps we are going to tell you that once you abide or you do this step, I am sure that the spirit spouse will leave you. Because what makes our life vulnerable to spirit spouse is when our spirit life is weak or when we have entered a covenant with a man or with a woman recently and that covenant is now affecting us. It is that covenant that will open doors to the entrance of spirit spouse, wife or husband to manipulate us because you have entered a blood hold, a vow or a covenant with a man or woman and this will affect your current relationship or marriage or your chances of getting married because you are having a covenant with somebody that covenant will affect you. If you left a person in a relationship because of one thing or the other, the spirit of that person will hurt you except you break every connection, any legal ground in your former relationship. So if you could not break them, the spirit's power will capitalize or take advantage of your vulnerability, of your weaknesses, of your fault, and begin to attack you. So you as a woman, the Bible says women are weaker vessels. So if you know that you have the spirit spouse within you, you'll find ways to deal with them. I pray, may God give you that grace to resist every spirit of loss, every spirit of temptation that's assigned to derail, to rubbish your life in Jesus' name. So we are going to tell you the things that you need to do that the spirit spouse will be annoyed about. Number one, dealing with your anger and bitterness. Dealing with your anger and bitterness. Anger and bitterness work together. Anger can destroy. Bitterness can destroy. When you have the spirit of anger and bitterness, you cannot forgive. When you have the spirit of anger and bitterness, 
it will be very hard for you to forgive people. When you have anger and bitterness within you, the blessings of the Lord cannot flow in. So, which means that that anger and bitterness is what is giving the spirit spouse leverage, you know, to take advantage of you. So, if you look at people that have the spirit of anger, that have the spirit of bitterness, know that the spirit spouse, the spirit wife or the spirit husband, they are operating in their life. So, for you to overcome the spirit husband or the spirit wife, you need to deal with that anger in you. You need to deal with that bitterness. The Bible says something about anger. Do not allow the sun to come down on your anger. Deal with your anger if you want that spirit spouse to leave you. Because the spirit spouse is a spirit. It's a spirit of darkness. It's a seed of witchcraft. It's a seed of the marine. Once that seed enter into your body, it will corrupt you. It will pollute your mind. It will make you to be doing the things of the world. You will find it very difficult to listen to the word of God again. The blessings of the word of God will not dwell mightily in your life because the anger and the bitterness are waging war against you. So if you must overcome and if you must allow this spirit's power to leave you totally, deal with that anger and bitterness today. I pray, may God Almighty give you that spirit, that power and authority over them in Jesus' name. Number two, cut off from sexual immorality and with some people. Cut off from sexual immorality and some people. The Bible says flee from all manners of sin and fornication. You must cut off from sexual immorality. You are in a relationship. You are always having sex. You are not married. You are always dating. You are in love. You are, you know, you are dating. You are, you are having this sexual intimacy together. And you are having an unholy relationship with people. These are the things that can strengthen the spirit's powers to operate in your life at large. So if you must overcome or if you must allow the spirit spouse to leave you, you must cut off from every sexual immorality. You must cut off from cheating. You must cut off from adultery. You must cut off from any relationship that does not edify you, that does not promote the glory of the Lord. So you must cut off from every unholy relationship, sexual immorality, adultery, and cheating. Otherwise, the spirit spouse will keep on using that as a leverage to attack you, to delay your marital blessings, and to frustrate your life, frustrate your chances of getting married. Even though when you are married, you discover that you are having all kinds of battles. So if you must overcome, you must cut off totally from every sexual immorality, cheating, adultery, and must cut off or separate yourself from some people that always talk things that are not edifying. I pray may God give you that grace to separate yourself or disassociate yourself from some people in Jesus' name. Number three, break the blood hold you enter with your hairs. Break the blood hold you entered with your hairs. You were in a relationship, you enter a blood hold that I must marry you. Me and you are forever. We will love you to the rest of our life. You, you suck our blood, you, you, you suck his blood, you, you suck our blood. This is a blood hold. And anything that has to do with blood hold can give way for the devil to come in and validate that covenant you enter with somebody. It may not be a blood hold. It may be a promise, a vow, or a covenant between you and somebody that I must marry you. When you tell somebody that I must marry you, that is a covenant. It's an agreement between you and somebody. And the devil is that principality that will validate that demonic covenant. And you, you, you take your blood, you take his blood, and throw that blood into a river. So those are the things that can endanger your life and your marital destiny. These are the things that can attract the marine spirit, you know, to govern your life, to control you, to deal with you, to destroy your destiny. So if you must overcome, or if you must allow this spirit spouse to leave you, you must break the blood hold you enter with somebody with your hairs recently. Otherwise, you keep having issues with spirit spouse in your marriage, in your ministry, in your business, in your, even your relationship. So you must deal with that covenant. Break that covenant. Anything that is giving the devil or the man spirit legal ground to attack you, to oppress you, to suppress you, to hinder your progress. Break away from it. And the Lord shall give you the spirit to break away from it in Jesus' name. Stop exchanging things with people. Stop exchanging things with people like clothes, like shoes. Somebody walk up to you and tell you that, please, borrow me your clothes. Borrow me your clothes. And the person wore your clothes and return that cloth back to you. And the next day, the person said, borrow me your shoe. And you give that shoe back to that person, and the person returned that shoe back to you. Those are the things. Those are spiritual exchange. 
that can influence, that can strengthen the spirit husband or spirit wife to control your life. The person that borrow your clothes or the person that borrow your other items, the person that borrow your shoes, that person may have some demonic entity in his or her body. By the time you wear that shoe back, by the time you wear that cloth back, you must have contacted another demons that will torment you again. Legions of demons will begin to torment you. So if you are always fond of exchanging things with people, like clothes, like your shoe, so you must stop doing that. Because those things can easily give the devil the leverage or the access to attack you. So if you stop that, the spirit power will stop tormenting your life in Jesus' name. Five, lastly, prayerfully deal with the dreams that involve or link with the marine spirit. Prayerfully deal with the dreams that involve or link with the marine spirit. The dreams of having sex, nakedness, swimming in the dream. Those are dreams that involve marine spirit. Getting married in the dream. These are dreams involve marine spirit. Seeing dog licking your body. Seeing dog pursuing you in the dream. They are dreams from the marine spirit. Seeing crocodile. Seeing alligator in the dream. These are dreams linking with the marine spirit. So if you are having this dream like that, it's an indicator that you are having spiritual husband or spiritual wife. So if you must overcome them, if you must deal with them, and if you want this spirit power to leave you, you must raise your prayer altar against every altar of bad dream in your life. Because if those bad dreams are coming up in your revelation, then it means that those spirit spouse or spirit husband, they are still in place or they are still in full operation in your life. So you must prayerfully cancel them, nullify them, renounce them, denounce them, destroy their activities in your life. I pray. May God give you power and authority over every plan and activity of the spirit spouse in your life in Jesus' name. I want you to close your eyes. Say prayer for number one loud and clear. I paralyze the power of the spirit spouse in my life in the name of Jesus. I paralyze the power of the spirit spouse in my life in the name of Jesus. I paralyze the power of the spirit spouse in my life. I paralyze it in Jesus' name. Two, anything in me that has made spirit spouse to glue with my life, break in the name of Jesus. Anything in me that has made spirit spouse to glue with my life, break in the name of Jesus. Anything in me that has made spirit spouse to glue with my life, break in Jesus' name. Three, lastly, O oh God, increase my prayer life and renew my spirit in the name of Jesus. O oh God, increase my prayer life and renew my spirit. Increase my prayer life and renew my spirit. Increase my prayer life and renew my spirit. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. I pray. The Bible says, the Egyptian you see today, you shall see them no more in the name of Jesus. If you are currently yoked with the power of the spirit spouse, and you have been going to series of deliverance and no way, by the grace of God, the Lord will deliver you from the hold, from the yoke of the spirit spouse in Jesus' name. If this broadcast has blessed you, share to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos. God bless you.